Hello everyone, Taylor Johnson here, uh, giving you a look at the Baltimore market real estate statistics for the month of April. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, closed sales are down, but the median sales price has remained pretty flat compared to April of last year. Days on market has increased uh, slightly. Um, the key thing I would say here to look at is that new listings are down 41% from April of last year. Uh, active listings are up, but that means that there are actually, you know, there are fewer homes that are selling. And so, um, and there are fewer buyers. So homes are staying in the market slightly longer. Thus the active inventory is up, but the total of new listings is down. That's the key number. Uh, months of supply, uh, we have a tight market if we're anything less than three months. A balanced market is around six months. And look where we are, we're at 1.1. Even though it's gone up nearly 50%, uh, it's still at 1.1. So the market is really tight. Um, and so what we want to see here is that uh, normally April is a very busy month, but uh, this spring seems to be more muted. Uh, Region-wide um, numbers are down for everything, but uh, there is a stronger bump in the suburbs around Baltimore than there is in the city. Uh, the median home price for the region was exactly the same as it was a year ago, but in the city, uh, prices have fallen slightly, whereas in some suburban markets, prices have gone up slightly. Inventory. Uh, <clears throat> Again, active inventory is up slightly, but the pace of growth has slowed. Uh, we're still at 1.16 uh, months of inventory. Um, and active listings are 40% of what they were in 2019. So we're at 60% uh, fewer homes for sale than we had in 2019, which is just crazy. I mean, it's no wonder there are um, competitive bids and uh, it's hard to get a house. So according to the demand index, the demand right now is uh, at 93, which is the highest reading since September 2022. So uh, demand is up. There are more buyers in the market right now. Uh, it is actually a lower number since April of last year, but uh, it's, a, it's a higher number for this spring. So buyers are coming back in the market. Again, we have really tight inventory. So as we get more buyers in the market with a tight inventory, that means more competitive market uh, and a likelihood that uh, prices will go up, that you'll be paying more for the house. <clears throat> Interest rates are likely to remain around six, six and a half percent. Home prices will continue to uh, moderate, but not significantly because of the shortage. Um, and so inventory could shake out a little bit, but it will remain constrained. Closed sale inventory has been constrained by limited inventory. <coughs> Median sales price was unchanged from a year ago uh, at 360,000 for the region. Um, the attached townhome price fell slightly in April, but prices of both single family detached homes and condos were higher in April. <clears throat> the pace of market activity that is occurring in the uh, region uh, sped up a little bit. So uh, the median days in the market is seven, which is slightly higher, but uh, lower than it was uh, before. And we can see that new pending sales um, month to month uptick this year was lower than it would be in a normal typical year, 25% um, lower. Inventory uh, is rising, but limited. So this is a, a, a sort of a um, difficult to understand sentence because the active listings are up a little bit but the total number of listings, new listings, the raw number of homes put on the market for sale is down considerably from what it was last year. Uh, single family detached condo inventory is around one third of what they were in 2019. 
So that means uh, we've actually had a 67% decrease in uh, the condo and single family home inventory. That's really, really significant. Um, <clears throat> showings are about the same. And so we can see that um, we've got the uh, price in the area is flat, but uh, it's gone up uh, down in the city, but some areas are a little higher. Uh, we've got like a 9% increase in Howard and Carroll County. Um, and there's a bump in new pending sales in those areas. Inventory is generally uh, a little better, but uh, let's take a look at those numbers. So here's your median sales price. Anne Arundel County is a little increased. The city's down a bit. Baltimore County, Carroll County, Hartford County, Howard County have all gone up uh, with the greatest increases in Carroll and Howard County. Um, so if you're looking for relative bargains, um, the, the city of Baltimore remains one and probably Anne Arundel County would be next. Um, <clears throat> here we are again looking at new listings. The number of new listings compared to April of last year is down across the board. 41% uh, for the region, fewer new listings. Uh, which is going to make it really, really hard to buy a house. It's just the, the fundamental dynamics that people are in the market still here to buy, uh, but there is just, just no inventory. It's really, really tight. Um, and median days in the market is about a week, roughly. So uh, again, this means if you are a buyer in the market uh, or you're thinking about starting to uh, enter the market, uh, things go pretty quickly if they are marketed well and priced well. So you need to have everything ready to go and you need to be clear on what, what it is that you would like to have so that when you see the right house, you can put in an offer and have the potential of winning it. Um, <clears throat> months of supply. This uh, basically means if there are no new homes on the market, how long would it take to sell all the homes currently on the market? So that's what the months of supply is. And you can see for the region, it's 1.1, uh, which is uh, ridiculous. I mean, this is just a super, super, super tight market. Um, the median uh, price was flat. Uh, there's no sign that prices will fall significantly in the region because uh, there's very low supply. Buyers who are in the market are still competing for limited homes for sale. Um, until there is more supply, prices will not come down in any meaningful way. So the home demand index, uh, again, this is compared to spring of last year, which was super, super tight. Um, and uh, it was down compared to last year, but it's up compared to, um, compared to last month. So this is actually an error. It's April of 2023, not May. All right, I'm Taylor Johnson, and I'm here uh, to help you and be a resource for you. Um, I'm with Keller Williams Capital Properties, part of the N. Garcia team. If I can provide any resources for you, answer any questions, give you a free consultation of any sort, whether buying or selling, please reach out to me. I am here to be, uh, be here for you. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye now.